Hey y'all, this is Ken Hagler from Better Homes and Gardens, Dreammakers Real Estate out of Wasilla, and I am giving you the updates on our Trailblazer project on the Susitna North area. Primarily, we're looking at the areas of Willow all the way up into Talkeetna. I'm out here at a property and seeing the snow melting. It's still on the ground here. We're in the very beginning of May, so it's kind of crazy. Things are uh, slowly disappearing uh, with breakup, and uh, it's a good looking thing. Uh, seeing more and more of the ground coming out, uh, more and more birds flying around through the air, so things are kind of happening. And one of the things that we learned today in the Valley Board of Realtors is that we are looking at a market that's getting more and more competitive every single day. That may not necessarily show forth in our numbers as they seem to be holding pretty consistent, but I think when we look at the whole bigger picture of how things are happening, we're starting to see more and more things coming to the market. People are more and more active uh, asking about properties, examining properties, coming online and calling and reaching out to realtors. When we look at the residential inventory, when we look back at the last month, we are setting right at 35 properties in this area, which has been pretty much consistent here this spring, right around between 36 to 34 properties has been what we've been looking at that have been on the market at any one particular time. And that's just the properties that have residential homes on them. Units sold last month was just three. Now, that's not necessarily a great looking number. And when we look back, that's low even by standards. This isn't particularly a happening month. Once we hit now the month of May coming up and the summer months, that's when we're really going to see things start to take off and more and more properties are going to be sold moving forward in the residential market. More and more are coming online even as we speak. Uh, looking at the MLS and the hot sheet, we've been seeing that happening over the just the last couple of weeks. So more and more properties coming online. We expect to see more sold. So with those properties sold, we've seen an increase now in the values of those properties. Uh, the properties on average now this year are coming in at 262000 So that's a big jump up from the last couple of uh, years. Uh, we're over 11% now in terms of what we faced last year. So we're seeing more and more value in the properties. And that's gonna we're going to see that across the board, not just in the residential, but I think we're going to start seeing that in the land properties as well well. Turning our attention now to the land in the Susitna North area, we are looking at the same amount of properties that are currently on the market, which means actually some have come to the market. So we've got 120 that are currently setting on the market right now. Last month we were at 120 as well. So what that does mean though, when we look at how much has been sold, we're going to see that more properties have come to market. So let's take a look now at our next slide. Properties sold last month were 16, and that's a jump, and that's a, actually a pretty significant when we look. The highest total of properties sold when we're just looking at land in the Susitna North was last year with 19. This year is 16. That's the second highest value the amount of properties that have been sold. So that's important that land is something of great interest. As I talk to consumers and folks that are looking, more and more folks are calling to ask about land and property, just raw land that they can purchase so they could do what they want to with it. That's a big thing about being up in the Susitna North area because folks are looking to the Susitna North area to do homesteading, to be off grid, to be able to do things the way they want to, uh, build where they want to, how they want to. And so there's more construction loans that are coming online. There are some new products that are coming available. So if it's something you're interested in and you're in the lower 48, talking to some of the folks up here that offer loans, there are unique opportunities that are available here in Alaska. So that's something you're going to want to look at. And just like the residential property values are going up, so are land values. The properties that have sold have come in at an average of 64,000, which are the highest value properties that we've seen so far. One of the things that we also learned at the uh, Valley Board of Realtors is that while we're looking at interest rates that in the last couple of years that have been high, the rates that we're looking at are actually very low comparative to the past few decades when interest rates were up in the 10s and 11s and even 12s. Many people bought homes in the 80s and 90s in the 8s. 
So to be looking at the interest rates that we're looking at right now, we actually have really good interest rates and we're seeing them. Yeah, there's still volatility in the market, but that's also getting people more and more active in our market in the Sioux City North. More and more phone calls coming in, more and more people starting to get off the fence. It's also the time for breakup It's and it's breaking and thawing. So more and more people are going to be putting those homes back on the market now that they may have taken off in the fall because they were just going to wait and see what happened come spring. And so that's something that you need to be looking for. If you're interested, now's the time to put your home back on the market, your properties on the market. If you're looking at that, it's also a great time to start getting into the market as you're going to have more and more options that are going to come available here in the next couple months. Thank you all for tuning in.